How's it going guys? Uh, welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to talk about a little introduction of myself. I'm going to talk about my passion for running and I'm also going to talk about what I'm currently training for. So like I said, I want to do a little introduction. My name is Ryan. I'm a senior at San Diego State University and I've been running for about four years. And so running has been something I've been super passionate about these last four years. It's been a really great stress reliever. It's a, my favorite way to get outside and just enjoy the nature. Um, and it's something I just, I can't recommend enough. Um, even if you're starting out short distances, uh, even if you're slow at running, you don't like running, it's a great thing to give a try because it really is therapeutic and it's just a really good form of exercise. And it's really helped me out these last four years. All right, so now that I've introduced myself a little bit, um, I wanna talk about what I'm currently training for. So I just began training for a trail race called the Double Dipsy. Uh, the Double Dipsy takes place in the Bay Area on Mount Tam, and it's about 13 and a half miles with a 4,400 foot elevation gain. So it's a, it's a monster of a race that takes a lot of time to prepare for and get your body ready for. So there are two ways I plan on attacking this run. So the first way is getting ready for the distance aspect. So this is a three and a half hour race, and it is 13 and a half miles. So the first thing I want to do with this part is making sure I'm able to reach those distances running 13 and a half, 14, 15 miles at a time. Um, I'm not really gonna worry about how fast I'm running, but just making sure I'm doing those distances and getting used to those distances. Uh, just making sure my, my heart is ready for that, my legs are ready for that, um, and that I'm just able to do it. Um, I also wanna make sure that I'm out running for three plus hours. Um, if this is just a, a slow pace with a long run, that's okay. I'm not really trying to be fast. I'm just trying to get my body used to running long distances and for a long period of time. Now, the second uh, way I plan on attacking this run is getting ready for the elevation aspect. 4,400 feet is a lot of elevation to be covering in a short amount of time. So a couple things I wanna do to get ready for that is gonna be going on a lot of hikes. Um, I wanna get used to running up hills. So maybe if it starts with me hiking up and running down the hills, and then slowly starting to work my way into running up the hill. Uh, just getting used to that, getting my body used to that is gonna be really big. And then also within that 4,400 feet of elevation, there are over 600 steps on the race. So I'm gonna be doing the Stairmaster a lot at the gym. That's a really good way to just get a lot of steps in at once at a, at a really good pace and getting yourself used to that. So those are gonna be the two things I'm really gonna work on. Um, one of the places I plan on taking you guys to run is gonna be Cowles Mountain. Cows Mountain is about a thousand feet in elevation gain and only a mile and a half. So that's going to be a really quick and easy way for me to pack in the really quick elevation gain in a short distance. So as I just explained, those are going to be my two main ways that I plan on training for this race and getting my body ready. Um, but there are a couple other things I have to focus on during my training that will help me succeed. So first thing is a lot of the trails that we'll be running on are single track. Uh, dirt trails where you have to do a lot of passing and people are going to be passing you. So I have to um, actually get used to a rule where you can't wear headphones on the race. So one thing that I plan on doing on one of my some of my longer distance runs is just not wearing headphones. It can be really boring, but it's also dangerous if you wear headphones on the actual race itself. So I have to get used to not having music uh, during those longer distances. Uh, my second thing is going to be getting used to my camelback. So there are a couple aid stations on the race. However, it's not enough to where you can uh, make sure that your mouth isn't dry or just making sure you have enough water. Um, a lot of my main hydrating is gonna take place uh, two days, one day before the race, but you are gonna want to water uh, with you just to make sure that your mouth isn't super dry and that you're just keeping yourself hydrated. So I'm gonna have to get used to wearing a Camelback. They can be awkward and heavy. Um, so just making sure I find the right fit and making sure it feels right on my back uh, that's going to be a really major thing. Um, and lastly is making sure I have the right shoes. So right now I have these Brooks. Uh, they're more of a road shoe. So I'm going to have to find a good trail running shoe as well. Um, it's going to take some breaking in and getting used to. But kind of having both shoes to cycle in and out for the different types of runs is going to be really important to get myself ready. But overall I'm going to need to get uh, more used to the, the wider trail shoe that I'm end up finding. Uh, so yeah, those are a couple more things that I have to kind of prepare myself for and be used to. Um, but overall, that's my main training regimen for this race and how I'm gonna get more prepared for it. So uh, that's gonna be all for today. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening about running and my channel. And I hope you guys follow along for my training for the Double Dipsy. 
and getting to see some really cool places to run here in San Diego.